Do, 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 do. Hello, everybody. Hey, it's Trevor here. You probably figured that out all by yourself. I don't think any. I don't think many people are ending up here by accident. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm not kind of not on any uh, major roads here. It's Thursday. You probably knew that as well. Uh, I'm gonna do some songs today. Um, I think I'm going to start off, uh, this is that awkward part where I'm just sitting around waiting for people to show up, but I know that occasionally people look at this later and then they have to suffer through this little part. I'm just going to try a song I haven't in a while, King of Spain. King of Spain. I used to do this one. I've done this one a few times. I never do it. Ooh, oh, there's a woo from Mentor. Thank you. Thank you for wooing. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, da, da, uh, da, da. I do this one just enough never to get better at it. Every time I do it, at the end of it, I go, okay, next time when I play it, I'm going to get it all right. But then, of course, I wait like four months and I play it again. And they go, oh, I did that. Oh, yeah, I did that same mistake last time. Anyway, uh, but it's good. I think it's a good starter. Good starter. <laughs> I've already forgotten. That's how it goes. Okay, okay. Oh, is somebody else said a gimmick? Uh, that, oh, Kyle's here. Good, good. All right, go. Um, here we go. Try King of Spain here. Once I was the King of Spain, now I eat hum. Oh, I already. Jesus. And that was just the thing I figured out a second ago. I always do that mistake. Once I was the king of Spain, now I eat humble pie. Oh, my unspeakable wife, Queen Lisa. Now I eat humble pie. I'm telling you, I was the king of Spain. Now I eat humble pie. Now I work at the pizza pizza. One, two, three, four. Ba da 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 da. Royalty, oh, I look good, good on me. Buried in silk and royal boudoir, or going nuclear free, or playing crokano with the Princess of Monaco. Telling my jokes to the OPEC leader, getting it all on video. Once I was the king of Spain, now I eat humble pie. A palatial palace, that was my home, now I eat humble pie. Telling you I was the king of Spain, now I eat humble pie. Now I vacuum the curve at Sky Dome, once he was the king of Spain. I can't wait, I'm lowering interest rate. My people say, king, aren't you such a genius? There's roof overhead and food on our plates. I'm laissez fair. I don't even give a care. Let's make Friday part of the weekend. Give every new baby chocolate a clear. Once I was the king of Spain, now I eat humble pie. Hey Clinton, hey you also got problems, you phone me. Now I eat humble pie. Telling you I was the king of Spain. Now I eat humble pie. Now the Leafs call me up to drive the Zamboni. Once he was the king of Spain. Now some of you might be wondering how I came to be living in Canada after being royalty in Spain. Should I tell them guys? Tell us king! You see late one night when the palace was asleep out of my royal chambers and into the garden I creep and I wait till the appointed time when the moon is lighting the pitch at which point my peasant friend who looks just like me arrives we make a switch Prince and Popper, Junior and Whopper, world made up of silver and copper. Under my own volition, I took a change of position. So next time you drill in the pizza line, remember slower pizza's more luscious. The king of rain never brushes. Once I was the king of Spain, now I eat humble pie. I was looking for half-handed ways to improve us. Now I eat humble pie. Telling you us was the king of Spain, now I eat humble pie. And now I'm jamming with Moxie once he was the king of Spain. King of Spain, everybody. King of Spain. King of Spain. King of Spain. Uh, that's her song, and I just sang it. And I just, uh, I didn't totally butcher it, but man, that was a rough start. Rough start. It's only three chords, too. At least that I think it's only three chords. I don't have a chart or anything. I just have the lyrics. Maybe I should actually get the, the chords. That would help. That would help me. Mm, well, I hope everybody's uh, doing well out there. Uh, you're free to ask questions or put in comments, cause uh, I didn't. I was late getting the questions up on Facebook, so I only got two, two pre-questions. Only got two of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna save them for a little bit in case those people, you know. Oh, well, one of them's already here. 
I'm already, Kyle's already here. Kyle asked a question. I'll, I'm going to keep you in suspense, though, except for Kyle. He's not in suspense because he knows what he asked, right? Or if you saw the post, you might have looked, seen it, too. Yep, 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 yep. Da, 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 da. Oh, Kyle is multitasking today. He's trying to do two things at once. He's trying to watch the stream and watch baseball games, like multiple games. That's crazy. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. A lot of work. He's putting full days of work. Full day work there. Uh, what have I been doing? Uh, I've still been practicing for that duo. One day we'll have a gig. One day we'll have a gig. Uh, so maybe I should do... There was one song... Last week I did a bunch of the songs that I was trying to memorize. And there was one that I didn't have well enough yet to give it a try. But I'm going to give it a try this week. I'm going to give it a try this week. I think I played it like three weeks ago maybe. But this time I'm going to see if I can get all the way through this song without looking at the lyrics. Oh, I still left my... Yeah. Okay, anyway. I don't... I think I'm going to fail. But I'm going to give it a try anyway. I'm already, I have the lyrics below me, so just in case I can take a look down. That's how you know if I failed. I'm already looking at them. I'm just, look, look straight ahead. Look straight ahead. I'm going to look straight ahead. If I do this, if I do, if you do this, go, oh, that Trevor, he can't do anything. That guy. My name is Captain Kidd. As I sailed, as I sailed. My name is Captain Kidd. As I sailed. My name is Captain Kidd, and God's laws I did forbid, and most wickedly I did as I sailed. My father taught me well to shun the gates of hell, but against him I rebelled as I sailed. He put a Bible in my hand, but I left it in the sand as I pulled away from land as I sailed. My name is Captain Kidd, as I sailed, as I sailed, my name is Captain Kidd, as I sailed. My name is Captain Kidd, and God's laws I did forbid, and most wickedly I did as I sailed. I murdered William Moore, and I left him in his gore, twenty leagues away from shore, as I sailed. And being crueler still, the gunner I did kill, all his precious blood did spill as I sailed. My name is Captain Kidd, as I sailed, as I sailed. My name is Captain Kidd, as I sailed. My name is Captain Kidd, and God's laws I did forbid, and most wickedly I did as I sailed. I was sick and I to death. And I bowed with every breath, though to walk in wisdom's path as I sailed. But repentance lasted not, my vows I soon forgot, oh damnation is my lot as I sailed. Oh my name is Captain Kidd, as I sailed, as I sailed, my name is Captain Kidd, as I sailed. Oh my name is Captain Kidd, and God's laws I did forbid, and most wickedly I did as I sailed. The execution dock Put my head upon the block Laws no more I'll mock As I sail So be true to say by me And bound my company Oh so close And they rip by me As I sail Oh my name is Captain Kidd As I sail As I sail My name is Captain Kidd As I sail Oh my name is Captain Kidd And God's laws I did for a bit and most wickedly I did as I sailed. And most wickedly I did as I sailed. Okay, well, I was so close. Last two lines of the last verse. Just like, you know, it's like one of those guys running down, made the catch, playing football, almost to... Right almost to the goal line, and then I look back. Look back. That's what I did there. I mentally did that. I did the same thing of, oh, I wonder if anyone's behind me. Then, oh, yeah. Uh. Anyway, I like that song, Captain Kid. I, I actually had not heard of that song till Kevin, who's in the other half of the duo, said, hey, we should do Captain Kid. I said, who the hell? What? What the hell is that? Great PC plays it. I went, no, you're lying. I know all the Great PC stuff that they did. 
And then he played the song. I was like, oh, how did I miss that? And anyway, I know it now. Well, I know 93% of it. 93%. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think that's supposed to be... I, it's set up like a song where he's supposed to be, you know, repentant. But the more I sing it, the less I think he's repentant at all. I don't know. I don't think he's. I don't think he's repenting much, except that he got caught. That was it. That was the only thing. The only thing that guy's. I think he. I think he kind of liked doing all that stuff. That's what I think of Captain Kid. The more I sing that song, the more I'm like, yeah, no, no this guy. He's not sorry. He's not sorry. No. Nope. Ba ba ba. Okay, I'm gonna say uh, check the comments here. See if anything's going on here. Uh, whatever I've done to the lighting is phenomenal. Is that sarcastic or not? I'm not sure. Secondhand wall flex. I haven't done anything to the lighting. Maybe that was sarcasm. Because I keep on saying I'm going to do something, and I never do. Yep. Yeah. Looks like I'm in a bunker or something. Uh, BJ's got a funny one. When did Captain Kid ever become Captain Grown Up? I guess he didn't, because he was still Captain Kid as he sailed, and then he, then he put his head on the block. I'm assuming it doesn't say, because Captain Kid is singing the song, narrating it, and I guess he's actually at, supposed to be at the execution block. So he did, there's not no coverage of the story afterwards when his head got chopped off or whatever happened there. I don't know. I haven't actually looked into the actual history of this song at all. But I'm assuming he never got to be Captain Adol. I mean, he was a boy man who killed people, I guess. But yeah, anyway. Oh, Kyle had a dream that he fell asleep during an Arrogant Worms concert. I'd be disappointed in you, Kyle, but I've had those nights and I'm on stage. You know, I'm on stage sometimes just tired going, oh my God, when is this, when does this end? These people are terrible. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know how it's like. Dream. Uh, the second wildfire says, lighting is, oh, okay. Well, I'm a little clearer than normal, but I don't know, I don't think I did anything. Like, I'm definitely, I, as I see the screen, I, there's, I have more of a contrast between me and the background. I think it's because it's really overcast today, and as it gets darker earlier, I usually get a bunch of light that shines in here, and it kind of messes every all the levels up. I think that's what's going on. I think that's what's going on. Uh, Colonel Sidequest uh, is asking... Have I written a new cat song since last week? I have not written a new one, but I have been steadily working on cats, cats everywhere, cats. I have spent so much damn time on this song. I hope it's good. I don't even know anymore. But man, I'm going to play it a little later. I'm going to make you wait, though. You're going to wait. I'm going to play it. I am going to play it. Um, I'm going to... What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm gonna do I'll play a different cat song first. I'm going to do a different cat song first. I... This is, I think of my cat songs. I think this is my favorite I've written so far. Although I'm really liking the Everywhere Cats, but it's probably just because it's the one I'm working on right now. That often happens. I always like, oh my God, this song's the best song ever. It's the Everywhere And then I start playing it and I go, ah, yeah, you suck song. That's what, usually what happens. Anyway, I like this one though. I haven't turned on this one. Uh, this was not officially part of the Too Many Songs About Cats, but it's one of the songs that got me thinking about it. Because I was starting to do Eric and Warren Patreon songs about cats, like a lot of them. And I thought that was a problem. And then I realized it was actually an opportunity. Uh, so I'm going to do this one. This one here is based on a real cat uh, in my house, uh, which I've paid for many, many times. Life are free, so was my cat initially. Something was wrong with his tummy. I took him to the vet to see. They ran some tests and gave him pills. Then ran more tests and gave me bills for scans, exams, and surgery. But at least now I can say I got a $10,000 cat. Though he ain't much to look at Every time he goes meow I drop another thou Got a $10,000 cat Now he's back there once 
once again for another operation. I'm sitting in the waiting room. I'm feeling bad and sensing doom. The assistant then comes in and looks at me. Her face is grim. I ask her, did my cat survive? She says yes. But your credit card died. I love that credit card. I got a $10,000 cat. Though he ain't much to look at. I take my credit card, bury it in the yard. Got a $10,000 cat. I'm so happy he's alive. I'm just not sure how I will survive. I guess I'll have to eat cat food, but not the stuff he has. That's like 10 bucks a tin. I got a $10,000 cat. Can't even write him off on income tax. He's worth his weight in gold, but I doubt he can be sold. Got a $10,000 cat. Got a $10,000 cat. Man, I could have had a tiger for that. He should at least be a cyborg with all the money that I poured. But he's just a normal looking 10,000, 11,000, 12,000 men who's counting. Dollar cat. I gotta say, that song makes me emotional. I wanna, I wanna cry a little every time I sing it. Ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba. Uh, fortunately, that guy has not. Since I wrote that song, he hasn't needed any more cash injections. So I don't. I mean, I've got some wood right here. I should knock on right there. Knocking on wood right there. So far, he's he's been since that song. Maybe he heard it and was embarrassed. I think that's what happened. He heard the song. Marcel heard the song. He's like, oh, man, I didn't know, dude. I didn't know. I'll totally stop having weird health problems now. Maybe I think that's what happened. Okay, so going on in the chat there. Oh, BJ had a $10,000. Yeah, it goes around, right? It's that thing. You can't. You can't. You can't not, right? It's not like if someone said, hey, I have a cat for you. It's $10,000. You'd go, you're an idiot. It's a cat. But when you have the cat already, or the dog, or whatever it is, I don't think it would really matter. If you, you know, you just keep, yeah, okay. Okay, I'll put a little bit more. A little bit more. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't think we have anyone from the... I moved the Facebook to my own... I, I was streaming the, the Worm Facebook, and I moved it to the to my Facebook last week. And since then, there there was one person on Facebook uh, last week. So far, I don't see any. I don't see any so far. Just the Twitch. That's all right. That's all right. The Facebook, we didn't need the Facebook people anyway. Uh, okay, what are we doing? Oh, we got lots, lots of time. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Put some questions in if you have questions. Oh, May's here again on Facebook. All by herself. Oh, by herself. As far as I know. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, questions. I'll answer one of the questions because Kyle is here, although he is distracted and he might have fallen asleep. Kyle asked if I was a, uh, uh, Kyle wanted to know if I was a Marvel or a DC uh, person. Um, and this is a very personal question, Kyle. This is a very personal question. You don't usually ask people these sorts of things in polite society because of the arguments and the anger, right? That it can, uh, that it can really get going. But I, I'll answer it. I'll answer it. We're all friends here. I am a Marvel person. Totally a Marvel person. Uh, I was collecting comic books started when I was 10. And I did it till I was 18. And then I stopped because I went to university and I needed the money to buy beer. Uh, so that was it. So, so age 10 to 18, I still have a bunch of them in my basement. I kept on carting them around. I got rid of a bunch of them too. Uh, I, and I in university, I did actually sell some for beer. Punisher uh, mini, uh, mini series. It's, I think it's worth even more now. Anyway, I sold it for beer back in university. Uh, but I'm a Marvel guy. Always have been. I got all the Marvel or all the Marvel stuff. I uh, I don't know what did I pick. I think I really like Spider Man, and I never liked Superman. Never liked Superman. I always thought Superman was just God so dull. 
I mean, I didn't mind the movies when I was a kid. I liked I liked the the the, the early run of the movies. I kind of liked at least number one and two before they went all kind of crappy. But Superman is like no, like too much, too much power. And then like, oh God, we gotta write some way that he can lose. I know Kryptonite. And then like every other story, there's Kryptonite. Jeez, how much like how much stuff do they have? Oh, it's really rare. Yeah, I don't think so. I think there's like a big storage locker in New Jersey that has like. 50 tons of kryptonite they just keep on sending it out whoever wants anyway so super and that was the flagship character so you know you know and i and i really liked spider-man i liked all the characters that seemed a little more human i like spider-man because he had to pay rent remember that like he's always he's got these superpowers but he's still you know can't keep can't pay rent i thought hey that's funny yeah that's pretty good and they had to work for a guy who hates spider-man because he needs the money i thought it was clever anyway so i've always been always a marvel guy uh but you know i do i will take the dc stuff every now and then when i see it i like the first wonder woman movie didn't care for the second one uh the aquaman one i found surprisingly entertaining because it was just it just gave up pretending to be anything other than stupid and embrace the dumb and that one that one i kind of enjoyed that one too there you go there there hope i didn't rile people up too much there i probably i probably lost some fans forever whoo jeez okay favorite marvel character i'm not sure i mean i like spider-man but that's like you can't really say that because everyone likes the thing i'm a big fan of the thing i had the entire run of his comic book called the thing which no one else has and is still completely worthless i check every 10 years ago i wonder if my thing comics are worth anything now and they never are no one no one bought bought it but me and no one wants to buy it now so yeah I, I, there's a bunch of characters i like but that the thing was the, yeah he was a character i liked that you know didn't get a lot of play and then, and then they keep on bringing the fantastic four back in terrible movies Ugh. Oh, it angers me. Angers. Well, it doesn't anger. Slightly annoys me. It's almost the same thing. Do, 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 do. Wow, people are really, people are really chatting about, man. You know, they're chatting about the comics out there. Wow, this is a, it's a big subject. Big subject. Uh, yeah, if you want to buy some back issues, uh, Marvel back issues between 1980 and 1988, just uh, come knocking on my door. I got, a, I think a couple of them are worth money. I got the whole uh, Secret Wars miniseries so spider-man in the black suit it's somewhere in my basement i like hope it hasn't been under a pipe with a leak on it or something like that. probably is anyway phew that was that was a good question that killed a lot of time thanks thanks kyle if you're still awake or maybe you're watching baseball uh what else do i have out today oh, okay here we go i'm not gonna do the other cats i'm not gonna do everywhere cats right away I'm gonna make you wait uh i'm gonna do a cover a new cover though you haven't heard me do this one because i just I had forgotten about this song, and then I was at the farmer's market. There's a farmer's market right at the end of the road once a week when the weather is good. And uh, I heard they usually have like some uh, some music there, some singery songwriter or some small groups. And I heard a guy singing this song, and I went, oh, yeah, I remember that song. I really like this song. And then I got home and I went, you know what? I'm going to look up, see if I can find the chords for this here song. And then I can sing the song. And that's what, and that ah, was a boring story, isn't it? It's going to end right now because I'm going to sing the song. It has a weird chord in it that I had to learn. Can anyone guess what the song is by this one chord? Anyone guess? That one weird chord? That's its starting chord. It's the main chord in the song. I'll give a couple of seconds here. I don't think anyone will. I don't think anyone will. Okay. I'd mostly forgot about the song until I heard it. Okay. It's kind of ballady, so I better uh, better up the reverb here. There we go. Give one more. Did anyone figure it out? Anyone figure it out? No, nope. no one figured it out. No one figured it out. Okay. Okay, here we go. So let's see how this one goes. Friday night, I'm going nowhere. All the lights are changing green to red. Turning over TV stations, situations running through my head. Looking back through time, you know it's clear that I've been blind. I've been a fool. To open up my heart to all that jealousy, that bitterness, 
that ridicule Saturday I'm running wild All the lights are changing Red to green Moving through the crowds and pushing Chemicals rushing in my bloodstream Only wish that you were here You know I'm seeing it so clear I've been afraid To show you how I really feel Admit to some bad mistakes I've made And if you want it Come and get it for crying out loud The love that I was giving you was never in doubt Let go of your heart, let go of your head and feel it now Let go of your heart, let Sunday all the lights and the shining the sky is fading red to blue Kicking through the eye leaves and wondering where it is I might be going to Turn back for home you know I'm feeling so alone I can't believe Climbing on the stair I turn around to see you smiling there in front of me And if you want it Come and get it For crying out loud The love that I was Giving you was Never in doubt Let go That is called uh, David Gray. Oh, somebody put it in there. David Gray. So I'm right. Okay, David Gray. There it is. D -d 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 yeah, I got a ton of radio play at the time, but then it kind of kind of disappeared. Like I don't hear it much, right? I don't hear it much. So when I heard the guy, goes, oh wait, I like that song. I kind of know when did I? I couldn't even remember when it came out. Like it was just one of those songs, you know. Anyway, I like that song. I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, okay, let's get to... Let's get to Everywhere Cats. Whew. Okay, I've been working hard. Working hard on the Everywhere Cats song. Uh, well, it's, oh, it's always the same people here, as you know. Uh, I've got my uh, Too Many Songs About Cat project, which you can support on Patreon. If you ever uh, go to patreon.com, put in Trevor Strong, and you can help me write endless songs about cats. Uh... And I've been working this everywhere, cats. I asked the internet to give me ideas about places cats, you would find cats. And my goodness, I got more response off of this post than like anything ever. Anything ever. So I, I've got most of them in the song now, I think. Not all of them. Uh, and there's a lot of words in this song. It's, gonna, it's one of those that until I actually... And it's not done yet. This is still a rough version, but this is the first... Today is the first day where I at least have something I can sing all the way through. Uh, so yeah, so you're my focus group. My focus group. See how it's going. God, this better be a decent song, because like I said, I put, like, 
it, it won't sound like it's been a lot of work, but these, it's a really fast song with a lot of words in it. And that means you have to get the syllables all on the right beat and find the right words to anyway. Anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens. This is the, I've done a couple of bits of this song, but I guess this is the world debut of a full version. This is probably gonna be a train wreck, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see what happens here. Okay, I'm just delaying. I'm delaying because I'm not confident. I'm not confident in my delivery here. Okay, here we go. <coughs> okay. <coughs> oh, I just breathed in and got some phlegm in the wrong <coughs> side of my throat. That's a terrible way to start this song. <coughs> oh, jeez. <coughs> there we go. I feel like a cat backing up a hairball. Oh, I haven't even worked on my hairball song yet. Gotta get back. Okay. Cats, cats everywhere. Cats, cats, cats everywhere. Everywhere. Cats, cats everywhere. Cats, everywhere. Cats, cats, cats. Cat in your home. Cat in your face. Cat all alone. Cat out in space. Cat on your lap. Cat in the store. Cat sitting on a random piece of paper on the floor. Cat in a tree. Cat in your head. Cat at KFC. Cat in the dog's bed. Cat in a bag. Cat on your back. Cat hiding around the corner just waiting to attack you. Cats, cats everywhere. Cats, cats. Cats everywhere, everywhere, cats, cats everywhere, cats, everywhere, cats, cats, cats. Cat on the fridge, cat in your pants, cat on the bridge, cats in France, cat somewhere hiding in your room. Mummified cat in an Egyptian tomb. Cat in your hair, cat on your shoe, cat on the stairs trying to kill you. Cat at the door, you let him go in. Now he's back, now he's back at the door, one out again. Now he's back at the door, one back in. Now he's back at the door, one out again. Back in, out again, back in, out again, back in. Get back in, out again. Cats, cats everywhere, cats. Way up on the high spot, looking down on you In cars and planes and trains, also in canoes In castles and in dumpsters, by volcanoes and in cliffs In absolutely any box, don't even need to fit On keyboards and in floorboards and in front ears and in towns On the table even after you have told them to get down On your feet, on your, on your feet, your legs, your chair Even in your underwear, standing on the banister Ripping up the furniture in an encyclopedia All over social media, in your head and in your dreams The only thing to do is scream Cats, cats everywhere, cats, cats, cats everywhere, everywhere Cats, cats everywhere, cats everywhere, cats Flem ball did not help. <clears throat> Still in there. Still in there. Oh, phew. Well, I don't know if you were able to understand all those lyrics because there's quite a lot. It's going to take a little practicing and refining. There you go. Cats, cats, cats. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's another song that I wrote. Uh, I just started singing, like, the Cats, Cats Everywhere Cats is something I would sing because my house is full of cats now, and I would just go, cats, cats everywhere, cats, cats, cats everywhere. Every then, so, and I went, oh, there you go, I got a chorus. How much hard, I'm halfway there, I thought, and I was not halfway there. Not halfway there, no. Anyway, so I just gotta, gotta smooth it out a little further, make sure I can sing it right. Do, 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 any, uh, any, uh, any other com any comments? Or like the half hour, over the half hour mark. <clears throat> Probably another 20 minutes or so. Uh, oh, Carolyn is here now. Carolyn is here now. Carolyn was the other person to ask me a pre-question. And I've been waiting for Carolyn. I know she often can't get here till a little into the stream. Uh, what was Carolyn's question? Let me find it here. Let me find it here. Uh, show notes. Carolyn was asking... Ah, what do you most, miss most when you are not touring? And what do you miss most when you are touring? Well, I've mainly been doing the not touring the last three years um, because there was something, I don't know if you heard about it, there was something called, there was some uh, virus came out a couple, of, like two and a half years ago, three years ago. Uh, and uh, you might have missed it. But anyway, it kind of knocked all touring out for everyone on the planet. So, <clears throat> so I was mainly not touring uh, mainly miss the doing the actual shows uh, it's also fun to go places a little bit um, except that most of the places I go I've now been to repeatedly over 30 years so that's not quite as exciting it's always exciting to go someplace new um, but yeah so I'm but I miss the, sh the live shows the most the, like the being at the show and then doing all the stuff I miss all that uh what is it what do you oh i also miss the the income 
we used to make money touring and then now we don't so that's also a thing i think i i would say most uh, performing artists would agree the last two and a half years not not a big not a big money maker because when you don't have a thing to do you start to yeah anyway uh but i mainly list the shows like of the things i miss uh the actual getting out there doing the shows interacting with the audience that stuff and what do you miss when i when you are touring if i can remember back to when i toured more yeah what did i miss what do i miss like if i'm only gone for a weekend i don't miss that much because i'm only gone for a weekend uh of course family including cats of course or then probably number one uh regular sleep my sleep always gets messed up when i'm on the tour it always gets messed up. Even if I'm going to bed, trying to, like, the show's done at 10.30, I'm still too wired up. And so no matter what, I can't go to sleep till 1. And then I still wake up at 7 a.m. in the morning because that's what my having children has programmed me to do. Sleep. So I miss sleep as well. Anything else? Um, oh, I miss always having good, be able to get good coffee no matter what. Like, in my house, I can get good coffee. And sometimes when you're on the road, sometimes you end up someplace... It's just not an option, right? And that's, you know, one of my, you know, I, that's the only reason to wake up is that you get coffee once you wake up. Good coffee. Uh, so there you go. There's, there's kind of my list. Kind of my list. Yeah. Any other questions? If you have any questions. Oh, Colonel Sidequest. Uh, f uh, what's there? I, I will always answer the business questions. I, I don't care. I always find it interesting was there more money in touring or in sales of albums or from your songs being played well the sales of albums things kind of disappeared that was a while ago used to make pretty good money off of albums but that's not that's not a thing anymore streaming is there, it, there's some money in it but compared to album sales it's like it's like this much compared to like that much like is that a good visual uh what was the other one um songs being played royalties off of that it's still like that and then live touring is like, is, was, was this much of our income? Well, it's bigger than this. And the other parts were this. Yeah. It's pretty much from, and most acts, it's the same. It's pretty much all entirely live shows. Yep. 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 But, 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 ah, oh, someone came on the YouTube channel. Wow. Oh, a couple people from the YouTube channel. Oh, that's great. Phew. Good. So, yeah, I, I still don't, yeah, I still do the, Multi-stream. It's good to see a couple of people show up on the less represented streams. That's good. Wow. Okay. Great. Awesome. Ba -ba 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 -da. Uh, oh, Kyle. Kyle is, man, you should be a hard-hitting political reporter or some a journalist hitting me with the hard questions. How do you take your coffee? I usually take it uh, with a little milk. No sugar. And if I'm feeling special, I'll put cream in it if it's a special occasion. I used to take my coffee with sugar. Here, here, I'll give you an anecdote, a touring anecdote, since we're talking about touring. I used to take my coffee with a little bit of sugar, like one sugar. Uh, but then we started, We did a tour in the U.S. And everywhere we went, because it was mainly Dunkin' Donuts back then, is before Starbucks had taken over the U.S., so that was your choice. I'd go, hey, yeah, could I get a coffee, one, one milk, one sugar? And I guess in the United States, one, the, the unit of measurement is not one teaspoon, it's a cup. Because every time I'd order with a teaspoon of sugar, it would be like, oh, my God, this is like like sh sugar water here. What the, what the, do you think, do they think I'm, I'm a freaking hummingbird or something? Like, how, what the hell? What are these people doing to themselves? Yeah, so I, for the rest of the tour, I cut out the sugar, and then I just gave up on it. That's, there's my story. So in a way, America cured me of having to have sugar in uh, my coffee. Yep. Yeah, so much, so much sugar. I remember another time, one of our early tours in the States, went to a place and I, I just I just couldn't eat any more bad road food. So I, I ordered the salad, uh, but it, like the like this, the like the Thai salad or something like that. And it ended up being like a tiny little bit of salad on top of these uh, uh, like two pounds of noodles drenched in oil and sugar sauce. I was like, ah, oh, I can't win. I give up. I give up. And it must have weighed four pounds. Anyway. Yep. Yep. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, Colonel, uh, oh, people are really on board this whole coffee talk. 
Colonel Sidequest uh, wants to know if I have the occasional Irish coffee. Only at Christmas. That's the only time. I do. I like the flavor of it, but that's the only time I actually get around. And we don't even buy a bottle of Bailey's anymore. We get just get the tiny, mini, tiny thing and maybe have two coffees with Bailey's in it. I do like the taste, though. I used to do it more often. <clears throat> okay, wow, that went on for a while. That was a big discussion we had. Uh, thanks, thanks for that. Okay, what am I going to do now? I got some more songs. I think I just take, take a look at what I had lined up here. See if I feel like doing any of these still. Uh, I feel like doing this one. Okay. Uh, I think I've done this one maybe once before. This is one of my songs that I wrote, which is not a funny one, but we're going to try it in the duo. Uh, the duo, the Trevor and Kevin duo, which still has doesn't have a gig yet. Kevin thought he got us a gig, and it happened to be the one weekend that there and Orms were working. He said, I got us a gig. I said, what's the date? And it's like, it was like late December. It's like, that's the one day the Worms have a gig. So that won't happen. That goes, ah. Anyway, so we're working on it. So we're going to try to learn this one. I think it'll sound nice with harmonies. He's good at the harmonies. Uh, oh, I never turned the reverb off. Bad Trevor. Sweet smell in the air today telling me to get away. Uh-huh. I'm going to try Sweet smell in the air today, telling me to come and play, uh-huh, I'm gonna try. All I think I wanna do is land the grass and think of you, uh-huh, I'm gonna try. Peaceful, quiet, gonna ride it. Peaceful, quiet, gonna Wind coming through my windows telling me it's time to go on. I'm gonna try. Wind coming through my window tells me what I already know. I'm gonna try. Lock the chair and out that door. What can wait? It has to. request while well, I requested that one do 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 yeah we're gonna try to learn that one I think it'll be sound nice with some harmonies on it okay let's go through the chatter oh some people are still on about the the coffee drinking story sorry I should have moved on with important subjects like them I'm, I'm, I'm gonna catch up on the stream here some other people said they have had uh, similar experiences. Uh, indescribable. Oh, that's how you say it. Indescribable. It took me like so long to. Okay, indescribable. Uh, ordered some iced tea and then yeah, yeah. Uh, easy to day. It's okay. Uh, espresso machine. Uh, and, oh, Colonel Sidequest ordered uh, iced tea in Florida, and just getting iced tea rather than what a Canadian would call iced tea. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we're we're talking. Yeah, is there some cultural differences? Cultural differences, important cultural differences. Yeah. Do 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 do. Uh, okay, I've got I've got another ten or fifteen minutes, depending on my mood. Uh, I guess I, I'll do at least one request. You can put in a request. As you know, this is just my doing whatever I feel like show. Uh, I do have another all request show coming up. I don't remember the date. I should have done that. Uh, before I went on the stream. But just go to my uh, website, trevorstrong.org. God, I hope I put it up there. Jesus. I got to get a business person or something to do this stuff for me. Uh, also, oh, also, I, have a, I might have a comedy course starting in two weeks. But I need more people. I need more people. So if you want to take a comedy course, 
they're super fun. Uh, starts uh, two weeks from yesterday. Oh, that's bad. That's hard math. I know. Uh, but if you're interested, just send me an email or a message on any of the various social uh, possibilities. Uh, it seems that people are now getting out and interacting with people in human form. So less likely to do a Zoom course because they can take real courses. Uh, either that or I've driven everyone away. It's one of those, one of those things. Anyway, looking for some people to take the comedy course. So if you're interested, let me know sooner than later too. Uh, okay. That's, is that enough? That's enough plugging. What should I do next? Uh, oh, people are, any more comments? Just... Okay. Uh, yeah, Carolyn's in a lot of them, and she's saying there's no comedy courses in Prince George, which, which is good. I like it when people, if you do, if you're in a place with no comedy courses, then I'm your best your best bet. Yep, right there. Uh, I don't know what I want to do next. I had a couple of other ones, but now I'm kind of looking at them, going, oh, maybe, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, King of, did that one. I did that one. Oh, I'm gonna do this one. I don't know why I want to do this. I think I did this one not too long ago, but I felt like doing it again anyway oh i wanted to, okay here we go here's one i have to remember the okay got it got it it's only four chords, and it's the same thing the whole time. But I, you know, I should get the right four chords before I start. Ba ba da ba ba da ba. Here's an arrogant worm song. I can't remember which album this on. Maybe beige. This is the one. Yeah, we wrote it very early on, but for some reason it didn't get on an album till later. Uh, not a hit. Not a failure either. Uh, I woke up the first morning, and I felt very bad. I wondered if it might have been something that I'd had. So I went to my doctor, a very learned man, knowing that he'd have the problem well in hand. He said, fellow, my poor fellow, you don't look very up. Could you please give me a cough and pee into this cup? He pondered for a minute, then he said, you got the flu. Here, take these pills, who knows what they may do gave me Tylenol and Clarinol and Butanol, tennis balls and water from Niagara Falls and hormones from Japan and vitamins and paraffins and some beta keratin and bits of tuna and golfin that he got from a can. I woke up the second morning and I felt worse than the first. My head was full of mucus. I swore that it would burst. My skin was cold and clammy, and my hands were large and green. So I went back to my doctor, his knowledge for to glean. He said, fellow, my poor fellow, what have you done wrong? If you'd followed my instructions, your illness would be gone. I told him, but I took everything you gave. So he gave me some more and told me to go away. He gave me Tylenol and Clearisol and Butanol and tennis balls, water from Niagara Falls and hormones from Japan and vitamins and paraffins and some beta keratin and bits of tuna and dolphin that he got from a can. I woke up the third morning and I found out I was dead. There was six feet of dirt right above my head. My friends are at the funeral, saying bye to me. Then I heard that doctor give in the eulogy. He said, fellow, that poor fellow, oh, I should have known that he would take too many pills when left all alone. So here I lie forever, cursing my sorry lot, for I'm so full of chemicals that I shall never rot. Cause I took Tylenol and Clearisol and Butanol and tennis balls, water from Niagara Falls and hormones from Japan and vitamins and paraffins and some beta keratin and bits of tuna and dolphin he got from a can. Tylenol and Clearisol and Butanol and tennis balls, water from Niagara Falls, hormones from Japan and vitamins and paraffins and some beta keratin and bits of tuna and dolphin that he got from. Can and I won't do that 
again uh, there you go prescription drug song prescription drug song true story actually happened to me I actually took too many and I died and then I kept on singing that's right that's right um do 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 let's go back to the stream here uh if anyone has a request i'll do I'll, I'll end with a request i'll do a little chatting first if anyone has any comments more queries more uh, more um, you need to know more about my coffee habits uh you can you know, anything like that you just give a little post give a little post right now oh a mentor saying that is like every doctor appointment he's ever had oh good what well, no oh bad actually sorry that's not good at all. That's not remotely good. No. Funny from a distance. Funny from a distance, not up close. Jesus Brother Bob. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll end with that. I'll end with Jesus Brother Bob. I'll give another second, though, see if there's any more last-minute questions. I think I plugged all the stuff, didn't I? Uh, Zoom concert, uh, Patreon, comedy course. I think it was my main ones. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, and I'll be doing, before the Zoom concert, I think, Am I doing that before? Oh my god, I'm so messed up. I'm going to do another songwriting one, writing a song with me in an hour. The last one was super fun. It's going to be about uh, Halloween. So people, you just join me on Zoom, and we write a song together in, a, in an hour. And it's gonna, uh, the topic's Halloween, we're going to write a Halloween song. If anyone shows up, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. BJ so wants to meet Kevin. Well, you can't yet, BJ. You're going to have to wait. Kevin's schedule is such that he cannot appear at this time. I think the plan is that we are going to do a, eventually just do a stream, uh, kind of a live rehearsal thing. Uh, uh, and we'll, I'll announce it and put out the word. I don't know when that'll be, but I, we're pretty close to being able to give it a go. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll do a live stream uh, of, just, of just the band, whose name I'm not telling you yet. I'm holding that off. We have a name, but I'm not telling anyone yet. I'm not telling anyone yet. I'm keeping it, keeping it right here, right? I'm trying to build up the mystique of the act, the mystique. Mentor says Kevin is imaginary. That is not true, Kevin. Uh, it is, Kevin is a real person, mentor. Real person. Yep. His arms and legs and a head, even a torso. Uh, okay. I'm going to give it one more second to see if anything, last second things pop up on the questions on the stream. And then I'll do uh, G Jesus Brother Bob. No, no, still don't see them. There's always a leg. I can never tell if I wait long enough. Got a favorite scary movie? Oh, since it's the season, I don't watch a lot of horror. Um, yeah. Oh, see, you got it's one of those questions where I don't have an instant answer. I remember when I was younger, there was a movie called Fright Night that I liked. It was a horror comedy. I don't know if I'd still like it. I have no idea. I saw it when I... Uh, I, I don't know why I don't watch a lot of horror, but I, it's not my not my go-to genre. Uh, action comedy is probably my go-to genre. Buddy comedies, I like them too. Although 90% of them are terrible. But the 10% that are good are really good. I'm trying to uh, horror movies. Yeah, I don't... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of like crossover horror genre movies uh i remember when i saw uh, i'm going way back what was it what was the one with the, the guy who's dead the whole time uh fifth sense was that what it what it was called i remember i saw that just when it came out like like the first day or the second day because i wanted to go see a different movie but it was sold out so i was like what else is on oh there's this bruce willis movie don't know anything about it okay so i went into that and i was totally suckered it was great because it was just come out, so no one knew anything about it. No one was spreading the word yet. I knew nothing about it. And I was just like, oh, what? He was dead the whole time. Sorry, am I ruined this for somebody? Ah, oh, it's too late. He was dead the whole time. Oh, yeah, totally got me. Totally. So that was good. That was a, kind of a... But it was more creepy than horror. It wasn't really a horror movie. Huh. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know why. I've I, I just never, never been the... Yeah, yeah. Sixth Sense. I said Fifth Sense. That's actually one of your senses, isn't it? <laughs> whole movie about the sense of smell like yeah that's not a very good movie <laughs> this is crappy the fifth sense yep yep 
Army of Darkness. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so not Ar- not Army of Darkness, but uh, before that. Uh, uh, oh, what was it called? Uh, before Army of Darkness, Dead by Dawn, but it's not called Dead by Dawn. It was the remake of his own movie. What was that one? I liked Army of Darkness too, but I preferred the I preferred the one in the house uh, to it, where he chops off his own arm to put the. What was that one called? That was my favorite. That is my favorite. Whatever it's called. Uh, uh, what's it called? Evil Dead. Evil Dead. Evil Dead's my favorite. There, now I have a winner. Evil Dead is my favorite. I really liked Evil Dead. Watched it about ten times. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There are few. We got through it, people. Thanks for your help on that one. Evil Dead. Evil Dead. You can tell that last time I watched any number of horror movies was like over thirty years ago. Okay. I've given it away. I've given it away. Okay. And yeah. Though. Yeah. Evil Dead. I liked Army of Darkness, but not as much as Evil Dead. Sometimes I find when you get more of a budget, it doesn't make the movie better. I liked how claustrophobic Evil Dead was. <clears throat> okay, good. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, Jesus Brother Bob, here we go. I'm ending it, everyone. I'm ending it. It's Jesus Brother Bob, sing along if you know it. Do your parts. <laughs> if you haven't heard of me, I wouldn't be surprised. I bet you know my relatives, their names will never die. My mother is a saint, and my brother is a god. But all I am is Jesus Brother Bob. Jesus Brother Bob, Jesus Brother Bob. A nobody relative of the Son of God. If only I'd been born just a little sooner, I'd be more than the brother of God Jr. I have to pay the ferry. To cross the Galilee, but not my brother, no, not him, he walks across for free. I finally get to work, but a quarter after nine, already he's turning water into wine. Jesus, Brother Bob, Jesus, Brother Bob, a nobody relative of the Son of God. If only I'd been born just a little sooner, I'd be more than the brother of God Jr. One day when I was home, I heard a mighty roar. There were a thousand people right outside the door. Came the cheering from the mob. Then they got a look at me. Jesus, Brother Bob, Jesus, Brother Bob, a nobody Son of God, if only I'd been born just a little sooner, I'd be more than the brother of God Jr. He, he died upon the cross. I thought that I was free. Finally, people would get to know me for me. Hey, Judas. This was my big chance to finally get ahead. The next thing you know, he's rising from the dead. Jesus, Brother Bob, Jesus, Brother Bob, a nobody relative of the Son of God. If only I'd been born just a little sooner, I'd be more than the Brother of God. Everybody, Jesus, Brother Bob, Jesus, Brother Bob, a nobody relative of the Son of God. If only I'd been born just a little sooner, I'd be more than the Brother of God. Well, thank you for coming out. I know it was a long trip uh, for most of you. Uh, have a good weekend. Uh, I should actually, I should look up the dates of when I'm doing those other things. That would be a really, I'm going to check my own website and hopefully past Trevor did his job and put them on my, put them on my tour calendar or my calendar here. Sometimes past Trevor is a total lazy jerk though. Oh, here we go. Sing, sing. Okay, I'm doing that. Write a Halloween song with Trevor, Thursday, October 27th. I'm trying it out on a Thursday on a night. Oh, I've listed it as 2 p.m., which is not the time it's going. Maybe that's why no one's coming. It's No, it's going to be at night. It's going to be at 8 p.m. I should correct that. God, it's so hard to find good help. That's all I can say. I've got to fire another assistant. Just Anyway. Okay, yeah, so that's my next thing. 
Thursday, October 27th, 8 p.m., which I will correct after this. Uh, great to see everybody. Uh, and I'll see you all soon. Okay. Ba, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. Oh, November 11th for the Zoom concert. Thanks. Thank you, Carolyn.